Big sheep's head. Big sheep's head. Big, big sheep's head. Trying to get some sheep's head right now early in the morning. The tides are super low negative right now. We got uh, my sister Michaela right here, Dustin on the boat, and we got James over there busting off. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're super, super uh, low negative tide right now. We got 12 dozen feather crabs, um, about five, 10 dozen shrimp, and we even have a couple mullet, just in case we want to pitch a couple docks for some snook, see if we can get one to bite. But. The main goal today is to try to get on the sheep's head. When the tide comes up later, we might go try to fish for redfish. We'll see what happens. Open your bill. That's a better one. Might be legal. What is this, first sheep's head of the day? Second sheep's head of the day? Yeah, not a bad little sheepers real quick. Hopefully they get a little bit bigger throughout the day, but we'll see what happens. First keeper of the morning. There you go, Michaela. First keeper. Just grab him from underneath, just like this. There you go. There you go. <laughs> awesome. All right, well, we got Michaela hooked onto a big sheep's head. Big sheep's head. Big, big sheep's head. There you go. Get it up. Get it up. Swing it my way, and I'll grab the line and flip him in the boat. Oh, big sheep's head. Check out, go ahead and open your bail. There you go. Big sheep's head. That's a really good sheep's head. Michaela. James, you want to grab another size 4 out of there? Because I think we're going to need it. Nope, maybe not. Big old sheep's head. We'll get back with you guys as soon as I get him unhooked. Okay, so I just caught this sheep's head off that dock over there, and it's my personal best. So now we're going to put it in the cooler and continue to catch more. And the cooler he goes. Ooh, careful with that rod. There we go. Alright guys, so we're out here sheep's head fishing again today. And we got already one in the box. And we just got two more, du a double up on that one. Look there. I got a better one out of the bunch, so... We just got out here probably 20 minutes ago, and the bite is just now starting to pick up. So, let's uh... We're looking to limit out today, hopefully, make a good dinner. We're not a bad couple sheeps. Go ahead and hold that one up there, James. That one might be legal. This one's definitely legal. We're gonna get him in the box and get fishing again. Money cast right there. Dinker. <laughs> oh. Definitely a little juvie, not what we want. Not gonna show him off too too much. Get him unhooked and uh ow, ow, ow. Little guy. I want the big ones. Oh, yeah. Black drummer. Yeah, yeah. Pitching out further crabs at the stock. Oh, 
tail is on. Yeah, it's just hooked up. She got a little sheepers. A little sheepers, open up your bail. Nice little black drum here. These guys have to be 14 inches. We're gonna measure him and uh, see if we can keep him. All right, here's Mikhail's little sheepers. It's not gonna make the cut, so we're gonna send him back. You want a picture of it? No? All right. All right, guys, so that black drum that Brandon just caught was 14. So he's in the mix of the fish right now. We got three or four keeper sheep set and a black drum already in the box. So it's not a bad day so far. Uh, hopefully, it keeps up like this, but we'll see what happens. So Very we're good. on, we're on a decent sheep's head right now. Not a monster by no means, but still a decent keeper. Come here, come here. We're just kind of working around different areas, trying to find the better ones. Come on, give me the hook. Give me the hook. Not a bad little sheep's head. We're gonna measure him just to be on the safe side to make sure he's legal. And if he is, we're gonna put him in the box. Legal all day. No, it's just really like 12. Nice little sheep's head. We'll put him in the box and get back to see if we can't find some more. All right, we are just leaving our spot right now. We got about five keepers in the box plus that black drum. So we're gonna be rolling up to this bridge and hopefully the fishing's a little bit better. So the bridge did not pan out. So we're packing it up and we're gonna run basically back to where we started this morning. Kind of, you know, where we put the boat in. We're gonna see how that works because uh, we're just kind of in a little slow spot right now. But we'll get back at you guys when we get to the new spot. So we just rolled to a new spot. That was, uh, we missed quite a few, but we just landed this guy. Not a bad sheep's head. We're gonna put him in the box and get back to fishing. So I just hooked on to another big sheep's head. We're gonna boat flip him. Another good keeper. We are tearing into the sheeps right now. And this one swallowed the hook. So, where are my cutters? We're gonna simply just go like this, get him snipped, looking all pretty. Set this down, open this up. There he goes. All right, now back to re-rig. There's a good one. Well, guys, James just hooked up on a decent sheep's head. Whoop. I'm on a little bit of doubled up right now. Uh, that one might make legal. Little sheep's head. Oh, we just got a double header. Let's see. Brandon gonna hook triple, up? Triple, Is Brandon gonna hook up? That's a big negative. We're gonna send these guys back. They're a little on the small side. Boom. Another little guy. One, two, three. Send them back. I just hooked into another decent sheep's head. Pulling some drag. Skills. Dude, right at this boat. Skills. There we go. Another decent sheep's head. Another one for the box. I don't know. I'm waiting for I got it on the GoPro. Oh, double header. Whoa. This might keep. This is not too bad. All right, more sheep's head, guys. Finally found where they're holding up at on this dot. And they're smashing on some fiddler crabs. James got the dinker. I think I got a keeper. We'll measure it to make sure. <sighs> Yes, sir. He's going to make the 12 mark in the cooler. Get him in, get him in. Grab the net, Brandon. I'm just going to just swap with the game. There she oh, that's is. That's a better one. We got a 95.9% share. This is a keeper. Another keeper in the box, guys. Let's see what he looks to... like. Oh, yeah. Can you measure him? That's not pretty No, that's a keeper I'm... all day. I'm Slap him in. Definitely have small ones. I think that 
try another, another decent sheep. Right to the bottom. There we go. That's another keeper. Another keeper. There you. All right. I'll toss his butt right in. You want to pick that bucket up for me real quick, James? In a few. All right. Let's get back at it. So I just landed another keeper sheeps. They seem to be uh, the bite seems to be pretty well on right now, and he swallowed the hook. So I'm just gonna cut him. Stick him in the well. Not in the well, but in the box. Stick. In the box he goes. All right, I grab a new hook. We're ready to rock back in there again. Come on, come on up. Definitely a lot better sheep's head than what we've been catching. In the boat. Damn. That's a bigger one. That's Good. what we were looking for right there. Bigger sheep's like that. He's crapping everywhere. Big old sheep's head. Put him in a box. Get rolling. All right. Okay. Oh, red dogger. Well, got us a little dink red to go with all the sheep's head and stuff we got today. Red. Oy. Little baby dinker, guys. This wind we're having and this super negative tide, I mean, it's been a grind all day, but we've been able to pull up a few redfish, about maybe 15 sheep's head and uh, one black drum. We're, uh, we're pitching shrimp at the dock behind me. The bite's not totally dead, but it's definitely a slow day. We're gonna get him back in the water and send him on his way. There he goes. Oh! This is a half bad red. Net shot? You only get the net. Dude, not a half bad red. Woohoo! There she is, boys. Best fish of the day, guys. Hey. Yeah, you wanna? Ain't worth it. You wanna? Whoa. Not when they're closed completely. Ain't worth it. Must have been. That's what it was. Not closed completely. Open in Hernando yet? That's what I was feeling thumping. Look at, look at the hook. Ew. Get real fast. Alright guys, probably the best fish of the day here, good solid, I don't know what you say, 19 inches, day 20, good nice solid redfish here, it's been a grind all day, but we've managed to pull something decent, he smashed on a shrimp and he was just barely skin hooked, so, too bad we can't keep him, but one day, we'll measure him real quick just to see what he is. The bite pretty well died, so we're gonna call it a day today. We got a bunch of nice sheep's head, and you know, Brandon caught a, caught a couple small reds, and then a, you know, Brandon got that 21 inch red, which ain't bad for us kind of messing around. But if you guys like the video, give it a like and subscribe. It helps me and Brandon out. We'll catch you guys in the next time. Uh, I'm recording right here, boys. Bust her off, boy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. James is becoming bus stop James. This is like number three at the same dock. Yeah, it is. It is. Brandon, how does it make you feel? He used to give you so much busting off. At least I'm not busting off big fish like he does. He's. Hey, look at our last video. <laughs> look at yeah, I'm not saying you don't ever catch big fish. You just bust off a lot of big fish at this dock. Hey, he didn't bust off that shark, and that was on fluoro.
Yeah. 50 pound fluoro. And you're the one who hooked the snook at this dock today and busted it off. <laughs> so we're on you at this point. <laughs> We've moved past me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get it off. Yeah, give it a good pull. Stop laughing. Give it a good pull. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm Come on. Do you want me to do it for you? <laughs> Come on. We got it rolling. I'm not hooked out. <laughs> James, you're getting a new bus stop folder because he literally has one for me, so you're getting one now. <laughs> Sender, come on, pull her off. Let's go. Oh man. I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Let's go. Come I can't on. stop laughing. I'm People still gotta recording. know. Pro Redfish Tournament Series. Right there, guy. Busting off all day. And losing big fish. <laughs> I don't know how it swung around and hooked on the bottom of that. Perfect. All right, guys, for anybody that's wondering, <laughs> we're going to zoom in. He's over focused he's over the top of the beam right there and the hook swing around and hooked on the back side and we don't quite know how he did it but he hooked it good oh. brandon just had a fish on too while we're doing a tutorial <laughs> james is <laughs> doing everything he can not to bust this off come on there guy it's under hook you ain't getting her back Dude, oh, it, no, i, I can go it. get it what i can go get it, oh, get it, it hooked in the water. good Get it the water, go get it. I can, I can go get it. And I, <laughs> Come on, give her a palm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it broke! <laughs> <laughs> the old bus stop. New name, you've acquired it. All right, guys, so yeah, that ends that bus stop sequence. <laughs> you want to do...